Hi family, how are you doing? Wherever you are, I pray that the light of God shine on you in Jesus' name. And God gives you courage to be still in this journey of faith in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want to share a story of one of my friends before that I had an opportunity to speak to. And eventually, he ignored my advice. And it is very sad to hear that he ended up in custody. And today, he's regretting his actions. And a lot of us today actually want to, you know, just grip up overnight, want to make it overnight, want to run faster than our shadow. How is that possible? Beloved, my family, please, in the name of God, be contented with whatever you are and take this life steady. We all have different destinies. We all have different grace. We all have different opportunity, regardless of anything we are doing. Some of us, we will make it even at the age of 17 or less or more or 30 or 20 or 40 or 50 so don't run faster than your shadow if you do you will end up in shame this brother did not listen to me he said i was not up to his standard to tell him what to do and today today is regretted and even the bible kicks against your counts. The road of shortcut or the way to shortcut seems or looks easy, but it is very, very dangerous. Don't involve yourself in that road. Please listen to Psalm 37 verse 7. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for Him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper overnight. Be still in the Lord. Wait for the Lord to act. Don't worry about, about evil people who prosper. Anything they have done that they prosper should not attract you, should not worry you. Because why some of us involve ourselves in this shortcut road is because we compete ourselves. We want to grow overnight. We want to be rich overnight. Why? You were not born the same day. You are not from the same company. You are not from the same parents. You are not from the same family. God created us in his own image. And the plan of God for you is different from my own plan. So wait for your time. So that you don't end up in shame. Listen to Proverbs 21 verse 5. Good planning and hard work lead to prosperity, but hasty shortcuts lead to poverty. Good planning and hard working, you will prosper, but hasty shortcuts will lead you to poverty. If you get, if you acquire anything unlawful by force, you will end up in shame. Karma, karma will follow you. Karma will follow you. Even if you think nobody is seeing you, there is somebody who sees even in the darkness, which is God. And one day, one day, your cup will be filled. And it is too, it might be too late. So now, I encourage you to decide to be a genuine person, to respect the laws of God, to read your Bible, to be lawful in the society. And be genuine. There's no need of you doing business in the night. And you cannot do the same business, that same business in the daytime. Please talk to yourself. Don't end up like this friend of mine who had a, who, that had every opportunity to be changed, to be a changed person. But because he was too tasty, he was after the things of the world. He was after those things his friend has and end up in disgrace. You might be lucky. I may not be lucky. You may decide to follow shortcut and be lucky. I may decide to follow that same shortcut. I may not be lucky. 
to please don't do it because people are doing it maybe in that adventure of doing that thing something happened that took your life where do you think you are going i want to remind you that heaven is real and hell is real the choice is yours don't follow shortcuts beware of shortcuts be a genuine person be contented with whatever you have be happy with whatever you have be hard working and keep trusting in god when it is your day you will score you will shake the net when it is not your day no matter how skillful you are you will not you will not still score you will not shake the net and i pray that you don't end up a shameful person i pray that you don't end up in disgrace in jesus name and i pray that god give you courage to be still that in any condition you find yourself you are contented waiting upon the lord your maker in jesus mighty name amen